What is up, everybody? What Lighting HWD here with another video. And if you take a peek at the top right of your screen and see the loot count, we are almost maxed out uh, by almost. I mean, like, we're, we're kind of getting there. Uh, we're almost maxed out on all of our loot, both Elixir, Dark Elixir, and Gold. We are getting close, very, very close to maxing out. So what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to start this video off by going out and doing a live attack. Uh, a live farming attack with our Lava Loonian strategy army composition right here in the middle of our base. So let's go out and try to find a raid. And uh, basically, we're going to be going for some big loot shit right now. So guys, let's go get some looty tooties. Speaking of big loot raids, guys, look at we got Simaosis. Uh, a 100% max out base with 833,000 gold and 480,000 elixir and 5,400 dark elixir. Guys, this is why I farm this high in trophies. And we're going to go from the right side of the base because one, both these bitch air sweepers are pointing the other way. And two... Uh, like, all the gold is on this side, so let's get it, guys. We're gonna have, um, oh, let's see. I don't know how I want to attack this. We'll put in one house here, uh, with the balloons coming in on this side. And we're gonna kind of raid it in a more, I guess, farming-orientated way. We're not gonna, like, go in towards the middle of the base, because it makes no sense to, um, because it's only worth one trophy. So we're gonna go in, kind of spread the balloons out a little bit more, and then we're gonna put minions directly in. And now what I'm hoping is that the balloons and that the minions will kind of take out um, most of the stuff, like most of the loot and whatnot. Actually, you know what? Fuck this. We're rushing right into the middle of the base. All right, we got a free spell down. Well, we'll get a rage spell down in a second. There's the rage spell, and that should get this big-ass group of balloons right in the middle. And uh, we're going to kind of just go for it all out right here. We'll do another free spell right there. That should get the queen and that Inferno Tower and the Expo. Awesome, guys. 41%. We're going to be basically melting through the center of this base. And the, uh, the town hall is not going to go down because we're not going to go for the town hall because there's literally no need because it's worth one trophy. But uh, we did kill that queen and uh, she's a bitch. So, I mean, she deserves to die. So, I mean, that's just that's just how that shit go. So, now what we're going to do is we got the king, we got the queen, uh, and then we have a bunch of other troops and a ton of loot right in this area over here. Um, so, we're going to be going after it. So, we're going to throw the king in first. We got three wall breakers coming in. Oh, okay. I'll go fuck myself. More wall breakers in. We get the queen. And then uh, we're going to use these six archers as well, just kind of in this area, just to help with a little bit extra firepower. Uh, and then we'll put the other wall breaker right here. So, going to have to use a king special ability because the other king is coming in. So, we should be able to swarm him and uh, take him out pretty quick. And we should, emphasis on should, be able to get a little bit more loot out of this base with our archer queen. Um, because the most of these defenses are going to be out of range of her. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, if she can grab this gold right here. Oh, no, it's four spaces. She won't. She'll go left. Yep, I, and I called that botch. Okay, now she can just take some loot on the left side, dude. We're good. We're going to get over 60% of this base. Special ability used right there. We'll grab a couple more shots on these uh, these storages and whatnot. And then uh, once she takes out this elixir, we will... Okay, well, she's going to die before she gets that, so... Oh, rest in peace. Queen is dead. How much loot, guys? How much loot? Getting a total of 556,000 gold, 424,000 elixir, 4,200 dark elixir, plus our 230k each bonus. That was not a bad raid on 100% max up base, and not a bad way to start out this video. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have almost everything maxed out. We have maxed out gold, 8 million gold, 8 million elixir, and only 165,000 dark elixir. So we cannot upgrade the queen in this clip, but not in this clip, but we will in the next clip. So uh, stay with me here. And uh, so after I start fuck or stop fucking around with the uh, with the with the zooming, like woo, woo, zoom it in right there, all of that loot. Oh my god! Um, I did record this yesterday, like vo vo video record yesterday, and I'm voice recording it now. Uh, so I don't know what I do in this clip. I kind of just like move the camera around a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we're going to the Archer Tower. So what we'll be doing with all of our gold right here is upgrading another Archer Tower to level 13. Yes, guys, we're going all Archer Tower right now, uh, and this will be our third Archer Tower going to 13. And, dude, before you know it, we're going to have all max archer towers on our base. It's pretty freaking awesome. So, after I stop fucking around with the upgrading there. Okay, bam! There it is, guys. There goes all the gold. I, again, I have no idea when the hell. Like, and now I'm zooming everywhere. <laughs> what is happening? All right, all the gold is gone right now. And there is our third archer tower going to level 13, guys. Our third archer tower going to max. And as you can see here, we need 190,000 for the queen. And we don't have that quite yet, but we will later on in this video. So, stay tuned. Do not click off the video, guys, because we will have the necessary D for our queen. So, now... Uh, and then again with the elixir, we're just gonna dump it into walls. So bam, there's one wall upgraded, and bam, there is another. So now, guys, it is time for the number one part of the video. We go and collect all of this loot in the middle of our base right here in three, two, one. Oh god, there I just go. It's like a uh, chain reaction, god. All right, everybody, if you look in the middle of our base, we got it, guys. Finally maxed out Dark Elixir, 100% maxed out, 200,000. Oh god. And what we will be doing this today is yes, finally. Another queen upgrade. We do have an hour 43 left in the boost, which kind of sucks. So we're gonna we're gonna fuck this boost up. But the queen will be going to level 38. We finally have enough to upgrade her. And if you look at the gold, actually, we almost we're like a million away from our next archer tower upgrade. Which uh, you know, unfortunately, we cannot do that this video. But we will definitely do that uh, in a future video because we're about to fill up the gold tonight because we've been farming a lot. If you look in the log, actually, 
uh and look at the gold i mean like look at all this gold and then add you know like 230k oh shit hold on look at this one dude 600,000 gold 500,000 elixir right there plus 230k each the bonuses help a lot in titans which is why i'm farming up here because this shit right here all this loot it's very easy to get on titans league so let's uh skip all this bs and go to upgrading the queen we'll bring her into the middle man she needs or we'll kind of more towards the middle so let's get all this out of the way can fuck off loot all right guys Getting the queen to level 38, and then after that, only two upgrades away from level 40, and we have farmed her 100% legit. We have not jumped up the queen, uh, obviously, except for uh, upgrade times, because, like, we need her to attack. So, guys, here we go. Queen going to level 38 in 3, 2, 1, bam! 100. Oh, you whip my bitch. Bam! There it is. Sleep, queen. Go to sleep. And there it is, guys. Bam. Archer queen finally going to level 38. We're down to 10,000 dark elixir. Actually, let's raise that up. Yeah, give that to us collectors. All right, guys. So now we're going to have to gem her up like always because we need the queen to raid. We need her up in Titans League, and we need her to farm more Dark Elixir so we can upgrade her again. So uh, 999 gems going down the drain in 3, 2, 1. Boom! There goes that as well. Down to exactly 200 gems, which we will definitely need to buy more in next video. So we're going to boost her up so we can raid with her. 190 gems left, guys. Wow, that's the lowest I've been in a long time. Oh, shit. So, uh, there we go, guys, though. We have the queen, level 38, two more, and she will be 100% maxed out. I'm very, very excited. And then uh, we can finally get around to upgrading this fat fuck right here, the king, because he definitely needs to go to uh, level 40, but we'll get in there eventually. But bam, guys, queen upgraded one more time, and uh, I guess we can upgrade one more wall uh, because we have enough elixir. Let me move these balloons out of the way so I can see which one I can upgrade. There it is. Okay, guys, we can do one wall this video, so bam, there's one more wall down. Uh, and one more, one more wall closer to maxed out walls. Dude, we're gonna have maxed out walls, man. That's really hella sexy. I can't wait. We are really improving on this base, guys. So if you don't remember, at the beginning of our push, like, all of our cannons were at level, like, level 12. All of our archers were level 12, and our queen was, like, level 35-ish around there. And, uh, in that time, we've gotten all of our cannons to level 13. We've maxed all of our cannons out. We are currently maxing, we have three archer towers down right now, and we're maxing all of these out, and our queen is only two levels away from max. So, guys, we've been doing a crap ton of farming, a lot of upgrading up here in the Titans League, and that kind of shows you guys, like, how good the farming is up here in Titans. And, uh, eventually, dude, we will have all max defenses, and then we will work towards all max walls and all max heroes on our base. We'll be looking sexy and possibly sexy enough to go up to the Titans 1 or Legends League. That will be an exciting push. But yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that one. A little bit of a loot montage video for you guys. But now, let us get to today's comment question of the day. Alright, guys, so today's comment question of the day comes from Tony Van Kempen. And the question is, do you think that there should be an option to chat with one person in your clan so nobody else can see it? And yes, I really do. This is one of the top ideas because we used to use Nor- like, this was like a year and a half ago. Uh, we used to use Norsk Global as like a top clan, top player high level player uh, chat where like all the top players top clans uh, like the best players went to and, and hung out that's when I was like the number one town on in the world so I mean I, I was I was allowed in that chat I was like the only town on nine that was allowed to, to you know be there otherwise at, we like we would, we would report everyone else if like people came in here like noobs trying to like basically get people to join their clan we'd be like get the fuck out of here and we like report them until they were gone um, but yeah I mean that was that was the private chat was Norsk global uh, but then obviously it got noob filled and now everyone goes to Norsk to like promote their fucking clan. It's really annoying. But yeah, so that's what happened to Norsk. Um, but it used to be like a private chat for top players and like that. So I feel like if Clash of Clans implemented something into the game so that you could have like a group chat with people that are not only in your clan, but maybe either in another clan or in no clan at all, if you could make a group chat with those people and like talk with them, that would be awesome so that people didn't have to use, you know, things like Line or Kick. They can just use an in-game like messenger uh, that you can not only have like, you know, single chats with people, but like group chats. That would be awesome and that would help a lot in the game, especially for top players. Um, and, you know, just like friends from other clans who want to be able to communicate with each other and talk because, I mean, like, you can have friends of their clans that you want to talk to all the time, but you can't because you're loyal to your own clan or stuff like that. Um, and, you know, there's also, also like, like, clan rivalries up the top. There's a lot of politics in the top clans, but still, though, I think it would be a really awesome idea to be able to have some kind of chat system where you could have, you know, multiple people in the same chat uh, without having to either, you know, be in the same clan or have the whole clan read their chat. Like, a private chat messaging system in Clash would be awesome, but it has to be consensual because, like, for people like me, YouTubers, I don't want 100,000 people, like, messaging me, like, all day long and, like, me getting spammed, you know? Like, it has to be, like, there has to be some kind of balance in there where, like, you know, you the two people People have to agree to message each other um, without like spamming because you know you don't want the top players spammed you don't want people like me youtubers spammed um, it just get really really annoying so they have to balance that out but yeah guys that was a pretty good idea honestly and I would definitely fuck with that idea so that was today's comment question of the day and today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like leave your comment questions of the day down in the comments below and yeah guys that's it for today hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one I love you all peace no,
All the pretty girls in class still, they never reply, but never say never, they never get caught on my mind. I'm trying to get better and grind, measure my effort and skill, gets better in time, fresher than ever, and I am who I am, no taking it back, I'm alive and well.